Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. I wondered this. Something about Italian and Portuguese and Spanish, all sort of, they, they're different but similar. And obviously French is also a Romance language, but it sounds much more unique. And uh, I'm ready to learn about it. Native Lang, awesome channel. Preemptive like. My name is Connor, if you are new. Hello. I like to watch things and learn about stuff. Original link to this video, top of the description, below that link to the Discord. Click on it, send it right over there. Also the Minecraft server, I just started playing it a few weeks ago. And I'm not that great, but I'm building. Just please don't wreck my stuff. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Go. French. You're a relative of Spanish, Italian, and other Romance languages. So why do you sound deceptively different? I mean, why is aqua just o? Oh? How are cambiar and casa related to changer and che? What's the story behind- Look, I don't- I'm terrible at American- at American- at English- jeez, at English grammar. I was about to say American grammar. Um, and- and so I- I'm not talking about the difference like this. I just mean the sound of it. it just sounds very unique and not- yeah. Cambiar en casa related to changer and che. What's the story behind the changes that make your pronunciation so, well, unique? It sounds beautiful. It's probably the most beautiful sounding language on the planet. Yeah, I, in my opinion. Whoosh. Uh, pardon, let me just find where this starts. Uh. Uh, voila! So say you wanted to create a language that turns out just like French. Well, follow the following recipe. Precisely. <clears throat> recipe? Start preparing your ingredients 2,000 years ago. Take a base of Latin. Combine traces of Gaulish. Because Celtic words will become sources of change. Okay, but what is Gaul- so is Gaulish just a, a Germanic language? Because Gaul just referred to the- area in modern day france during roman times right and maybe before that that's a, a get but it's a, i'm assuming it's closely related to german or was bind traces of gaulish because celtic words will become sources of change including literally the celtic. word change i must emphasize do not use fresh latin for your base let it go bad Ideally, wait three centuries until this stickler scribe pens terse corrections, disciplining people to speak good Latin, not bad Latin. Good Latin, not bad Latin. Make sure you keep the bad, the oricla, lancia, and ageless aduc. Imperfections like these set you up for a unique bake. Now, so far, what you've mixed works for any Romance language. Oh, we're literally we'll baking a pie of language, okay. Now, so far, what you've mixed works for any Romance language. We'll spread it out from Portugal to Wallonia. Gradually incorporate sound shifts, not uniformly. Work them in to form a nice continuum where the edges look distinct, but locally it's similar from place to place. It's guesswork at this stage, to be honest, but be sure to include these changes throughout the age. Soften pataka to b d g then v th r then sh from v <laughs> to just nothing yeah have you ever noticed like what offensive words or swear words whenever you're trying to come up with a word that is an offensive term to like belittle people or 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 swear words they're always very like like, like they're always very harsh sounds. And uh, it's funny how we just always like harsh sounds making a word makes a harsh word. V, Literal. V, r, then sh from vita and aqua and securo make vida and agua and segur. And you're Segur. a step away from early French via, ewa, seur. Shorten two consonants to one. Less Italian lettera, more letra. Indulge the palate. Join kia tia bia until a chiaresia is a cerisa. Gent becomes gent, and cambiare is canjar. 
Gonna One die. step closer. I can't to roll my R's, and I gotta learn how. And squeeze years out of fact and lact, fight and light. These are changes any saja out there may sacha may already know. Sacha. Rework Rome's five neat short and long vowels into seven. I need to stop talking. Rework Rome's five neat short and long vowels into seven. E, A, E, A, O, O, U. And open up E and O even more into E and WO, taking Whoa. the word for foot from ancient pedem to medieval pie. If spustus from ancient pedem. Pedent, like a pedicure? To medieval pie. If spustuska are especially sticky at this point, add vowels until your state is less Romanian stat, more old French estat, and what's written is no longer a script, but an escript. Okay, go chill your Western romance dough. I know it's early, but I've invited some guests. Here they are at the door. Uh, hello? Yeah, it's the Franks. You, they go on to say you've been neighbors for a while. Now they're here to name your country and speak this language you've been working on. Also, they suggest adding some Germanic Frankish words. Just a few hundred? They hand you a manuscript with an oath sworn in 842 by two grandsons of Charlemagne. One side swore in Frankish, the other vowed nearly the same lines in what they hastily called Romana. In ink they capture your earlier changes. An ageless om, softened ayuda, and au is now a lost cosa. Roll with this. Roll out your language dough until words are stressed with an intense accent and Grammar and cooking. Two things I'm terrible at. Th this is... Final vowels drop off. Amur. Tsist. Except a, ah, which you should weaken down to a, uh, like kosa. Oh, and did I say to ditch H? Well, at this stage, patch H. In a new H. Germanic H, huh, like in Hacha. Even add it to some romance words, like halt. This will create fun quirks when we oust H's again. Take the voice Good. out of final consonants, shifting wolf to wef and grand to grant. Ooh, and manipulate mid vowels to a and ye and o and we. Make l after a vowel more of an l. Sautze. Before you incorporate any more changes, l. Sautze. Saus. Before you incorporate any more changes, you want to cut out one section from this dough. Split it up at the word for yes. In the south of France, Beer. it's oak. Up oh. north, it's a mesh of oil. Well, to make oil. what we today call French, oil, French, just work with those northern oil varieties. A thousand years into this recipe, nor <laughs> northern oil. Well, to make what we today call French, just work with those northern oil varieties. A thousand years into this recipe, it's time to dock and bake old French throughout the high middle ages. Peek into the oven to see Kaz Chang, turning Kanja into Chanja, a cat into a chat, and castle. I I've lost the reasoning behind this. You're, 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 you're trying to make it sound more smooth, but it sounds like you're doing the opposite here. Turning Kanja. Like I've lost the plot. W what? Into Chanja. A cat into a. Ch oh, instead. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm uh, okay. I understand. So instead of a kanja, it's a chanja, chat. Okay. Chat and castles into chastels, except near the northern coast. So England will borrow Norman candles, not chandles, but a double take of both canal and channel. Then check if multiple. Interesting. Multiple as are shifting to a, awe to ewe, and caval to cheval. It's okay if they go as far as ye, yeah, from ca- One of the things that I learn, or I think anyone learns as they grow older, but that I, I kind of learn also with going through history, is I feel like when you're more ignorant 
like when you're younger and when you're more ignorant of history. This isn't the best uh, analogy. That you, 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 I almost like I, you almost take for granted. Like you just assume everything is like such well designed and and like from society to to languages, it's like oh my god, this is all this, and then you quickly realize it, it's not as orderly as you pictured it, and people all along are just sort of winging it. And it just kind of sits where it sits. That 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 was an awful analogy. Just forget it. Tap to chef for chef, or a canine chien. The vowel u in saur should now sound like saur, and saur. O in oil should turn into oil, oil. and eventually yes, oui. At the end of the old French period. Watch and wait. You might think the sound of French French would come from a single dialect in Paris. Instead, observe as it arises from social changes and urbanization bringing together people who speak many varieties of oil. The oven timer goes off. It's 1300, and your beautifully baked case shines with some of the prestige that Latin once had. Let's prepare to layer on Middle French. Melt the may that was me to moi and then moi, and the I in light to let. The eu of old poeter pout is from here on u. Vowels yeah. before n and m will flow through the nose now. Mm. Bun becomes bon. bon. Heat your slurry until a new set of long vowels seeps out. Gote. Where s's break down, Gota is merely longer than gota. And where two gota. vowels ooze into one, in Old French you were seur. Seur. Well, now you're sur. Seur. Dissolve okay. complex consonants. No longer tseriza, but seriza. No longer quant and qui, but soloqui. Count and qui. And sacha and saja cooked down to sasha and saja. I was going to say pull Middle French off the heat at this point, but you know what? Keep this caramel going. Melt away more sounds at the end of words throughout the French Renaissance. Cha, trouvé, even e uh, in sur. sur. You know you're doing it right when many lu sound identical to one lone lu. And turn those nasal vowels into a critical distinction from here on out. A ah is a preposition, but a ah later en. See, like preposition. I, I I couldn't tell you what that even is. It, it, it is it like a and I. I need to go back and learn these words. This is bringing back nightmares of uh, grammar class or preposition. Ugh. It's like it's so hard for me to learn this stuff because it's like teaching me like directions before I even know what left and right is. You know what I mean? I just, I was always awful with this stuff, and I'm, I am making an excuse, but I have no, I need to work on it. Means year. As this cools, it should be teeming with unpredictable letters. In other words, French spelling. There you are. No longer do you read the S, the P, or the T in écri. Écri. Pour these changes into your shell, and watch spelling reformers grapple with their stickiness, concocting accent marks and new letters to deal with them. Now for a thick ganache of kingdom and colonization that will spread your French so- This is just a feeling. I feel like this, so I'm, I'm assuming something. Maybe I'm just not seeing it, but other than the a lowercase i, which has a dot on top, is there anything else? Like, is there any other letter other than I that has that has two parts that aren't connected? So I, I feel like a lot of other languages have more things on top of letters than English does. Let me know if I'm wrong. Or below letters, like a C with a a little sl. Um, nah. Now for a thick ganache of kingdom and colonization that will spread your French so far, even farther. Everywhere, temper o and yo to o and o. 
But when Quebec gets cold, don't cover up their archaic fret. And keep moi and toi while Paris spends a half century before the revolution shifting to toi and moi. I want to know when if... So you know how there's an accent difference between England and the US? Obviously, there are different accents within England, different accents within the US. But how the US and, and English... How English in the US and in England, they're completely mutually intelligible, but there, there is a clear pronunciation difference that we call an accent, right? So is that also true between Spanish countries in the Americas and Spain or Portuguese speakers in Portugal and Brazil or French speakers in France and Quebec? Is there the same thing? Any Blue French Creole Frenchers? will retain an old huh in huh to toi and moi. Guadeloupe Creole will retain an old ha huh in hanga and hale. And Amazonian Keol will inventively mash three and a third words together into one zabapéan for breadfruit. Zabapéan. And from Tahiti like to Louisiane to the continent with more French speakers than any other, l'Afrique. As this era cools and sets, r will sometimes remain a trill. You son of a cools and sets will sometimes remain screw you remain because after periods of revolution and napoleon a new art is stirred into paris for many r will replace r and while it does you for many, R will re replace R. And while it does, you pour on a layer thick with your most epicurean changes yet. Coat those re-emerged long vowels. Epicurean? Excuse me, sir? That's a new fancy word. Epicurus? The cultivation of a refined state. Oh, of a refined taste, as in food. Of a refined Jesus. Until by the mid 1900s, only a slight flavor remains. But or pot. Quebec, bet. Only a slight flavor remains. But. It's like a cross between a P sound and a B sound. Bet, but, but. Or pot. Quebec, bet or bet. Bite. In Paris, you should even hear bet merge into bet. And well, but is but. Although but, you attempted to melt all final consonants, they've been viscous enough to stick to vowels. Indulge this, tacking grand to grand ami and les to les amis. And remember those Frankish H's? Pronounce them H. H. Them no more, but make sure they don't stick. What a fun rule for students to have to remember. H that isn't and wasn't is sticky. H that isn't but was isn't. Hence les autres, but les autres. Round week a uh, to mange petit, or even smooth it away as you pour. Mange petit. petit. Fill to the brim e. and tap until your French sounds not like words, rhythm. but rhythm groups. Syllables freely cutting across words. E dropped or added to refine the rhythm until you accent the final syllab. Syllab. Oh, look, you've made quite a mess. Don't clean up yet. Garnish with the latest changes. Shift un to un, and then even un to un, and push all in d'accord toward d'accord, and end rhythm. D'accord. And push all in d'accord toward d'accord. That's that quintessential French sound that he just said. The last word, d'accord. And end rhythm groups with a heavy, breathy vowel. T'as entendu? Oui. You've now prepared a contemporary French, ready to serve. And you have a recipe to hand down and adjust for the next thousand years of French's Messed shifting up. sounds. If you're eager to learn more and get into the details, my sources doc is made for you. 
The names you see now are some of my patrons, for whom I posted thoughts and art during the months it took me to put this together. Thank you for your patient and You want to make me feel the most stupid is have me watch a language. I feel like I got okay. Positive support. Merci tout le monde. Stick around. Merci tout le monde. And subscribe for language. Such a great channel. I'm gonna work on my R's. Really cool. So, like, American English could technically be closer to British English in the 1700s. I don't know what I'm talking about here, okay? Uh, really cool, really interesting. Although it's tough for me, I, I really enjoy trying to learn it. And, uh, cool video. Awesome, from Native Lang. Hope you're all doing well. If not, chin up. You'll be good soon. Don't worry. Emotions are fickle, my friend. See you guys next time. Bye. Also, love to see your comments. Bye, guys.